Good evening, YouTube. Um, this is a video response to probably my most personal, greatest YouTube videos I've ever seen. Because it was dedicated to myself, my friend Felicia from Canada. So, you know, I really appreciate it. First of all, thank you a lot. That means a lot, as I said earlier. You know, I'm not 100% not used to people being so nice to me at times, so it really means a lot. And I really appreciate it. Thank you, and I love you. Now, the big part of, the, of this was the questions that she answered through the nine minutes video of hers. So, let's do that. But before I answer, there's a treat at the end, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. There's going to be a, a treat added to this. But we'll get to that in a sec. We'll get to that at the end of the video. So, let's start with the questions. So, here's the first question. Be honest. Are you getting feelings toward anyone? No, not at the moment, you know. Sometimes you might think you like someone, but there's no genuine true feelings. I gotta focus on myself. I've been through a lot. I'm learning more about myself. So, yeah. Have I ever felt unimportant in someone's life? I'm sure we all have at some point in our life. Sometimes family gets to you. Family frustrates you. Sometimes you feel like your feelings are put on the wayside. I've had that experience with family. But, you know, you move through it. I mean, I, I know a lot of the time I don't feel unimportant for long. You know, because I guess they, we finally get out that rut. But that's what happens. What are my plans for tomorrow? You know, I, I really don't got nothing planned for tomorrow. So, but I can tell you, I'm, okay, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I take that back. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And then Friday, I'm going to go on a bike ride around downtown with this group called Critical Mass. So that's fun. Alright, next question. Are you dating or have you dated the person you like? Okay, we're not, okay, we're not, these dating questions, man. I have, I have dated someone before, but I have not dated the person I like by far. I mean, to be honest with you, I really didn't care about myself that much at the time. So looking back on it, that's definitely not the person that I like or want to pursue. What's something I'm excited for? Fourth of July, wish Alicia could be here. Um, Taste of Chicago, a couple music shows that are coming up I want to go to that my friends are in. So those are some things I'm excited for. What am I listening to right now? My own voice as I do this video. So yeah. Am I trying to avoid liking somebody at the moment? No one to like. I mean, I like people as friends, I like people as my boys and my buddies. But as, as the question suggests, which I know is in a romantic way, no. Was yesterday better than today? Nah, today was better. But yesterday wasn't that bad, though. When was the last time I had ice cream? About an hour or two ago. I had a dream set with orange and ice cream thing. So I had a dream set. Do I drink more apple or orange juice? Definitely apple. Orange gives me gas sometimes, so I have to say more apple. What time did I go to sleep last night? 1 a.m., which was good for me because the last couple days I was having some hard time sleeping, so I'm good. Do I like waking up to new texts in the morning? That rarely happens, so I can't know, I don't know if I like it or not, because that rarely happens. Will I be up before 7 a.m. tomorrow? No. Do my parents really know me? Well, I, I think my parents know me pretty well, both my mom and my dad. But there are still a, some, a lot of things they don't know. 
There are a lot of things they don't know. Fuck. That's what a lot of people, teens, early people that are young, the parents aren't going to necessarily know everything. But compared to a lot of people that I've grown, I've grown up with, I am pretty close to my mom and pretty close to my dad. So they do know a lot. Do I really want to see someone right now? Felicia? Maybe? I don't know. Person that has me in this, it would be nice if I can go to 1600 miles. But have I ever kissed anyone whose names start with a Z? No. No. Do I take anything for granted? You know, sometimes it feels that way that we want to take things for granted because we get so used to good things that a lot of people wish they could have. Like, you know, people in Africa would do anything to have one solid meal a day or clean water. But yet, we, but yet, we, people, most of us in America have that every day and it's just a normal thing. So I know it's, it's pretty easy to take things for granted, but we can't. It's not, but when we really look at peop other people's situations that are worse off than us, then we kind of have a different view. Did I sleep alone last night? Yes. Do I plan on sleeping in tomorrow? Maybe. Was last night terrible? It was more comfortable than the last couple nights. Uh, do I currently want any piercings or tattoos? Maybe a tattoo that says mom in the heart, but I don't want any piercings. Am I missing someone? Friends, maybe? A couple friends I haven't seen in a while. Maybe, you know, I miss a lot of people. My friends, uh, I got a friend that's going on a tour with the band. I miss him, so, yeah. Is there anything that you want to say since right now to someone? Felicia, you rock. That video was awesome. And I gotta say, that's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me in a long time. Um, I know I've probably already said that before, but okay. Have I ever felt completely lost? Yeah. It was, I've had a lot of rough times in my life, and I've definitely been lost. But now I'm found. No pun intended. So. Mm. Excuse me. Have I ever been called bipolar? Yeah, I have been called bipolar. And you want to know who told me it? My doctor when he was, you know, diagnosing me with it. So yeah, I guess that counts. What are some ways I like to cope with stress? I like to take deep breaths. That, that's a very great, that's a, that's a great, that works great for me because it really calms me down. Um, I like to ride my bike. I love riding my bike. That's a great way I deal with stress too. And I like to talk things out. I, I like to talk to my mom or my friends about a lot of things that are stressing me out. So those are some ways I deal with stress. How do you get your morning energy? I don't have morning energy, I guess. So, let's wake up and the energy comes to me. What movies have tripped me out? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I was watching a Lifetime movie yesterday because I was bored. I can't get bored of so I was watching a Lifetime movie. It was called Tall Hot Blonde, and I don't want to ruin that for a lot of people, but basically it was like this. It'll take me a long time for me to explain it, but I'll do it real quick. So this person was posing online as somebody. This this 48 year old man was posing online as someone he wasn't to like an 18, about maybe an 18 year old girl. And eventually he got busted by his wife, but he but they, they they tried working it out. But then he went back on the computer, and so one of his other friends was started to get in. So one of his other friends was started to get into her. And the, the guy got jealous, so he basically killed his friend. And, you know, when they went to arrest him, they said the 18-year-old girl was not the 18-year-old girl. It was someone, it was her mother posing as her. So, yeah, that tripped me out. And, and the thing that tripped me out the most at the end, which I didn't realize at the beginning, was it's a real story. It was based on a true story. My God, that's, that was creepy. Did I rollerblade as a kid? No, and I never, I have, I don't rollerblade still. Would I date a smoker? Sure. I would. Who was the last person to call me? My mother. 
Am I there for my friends? I hope I am. I'm pretty sure I am. I think I am. I, th I think I'm a, a damn good friend. How different am I from three years ago? Seriously, I, I'm not going to go into too personal details. Let's say I've come a long, long way from the person I was three years ago. And I'm proud of the work I've done to become a better person, and I like who I am today. My favorite color is red. We're going to try to get through this a little faster now. I'm already at the 10-minute mark. My favorite color is red. Not afraid, not afraid of the dark. Don't like someone. I don't like anyone at the moment. I guess I like myself, so I'm 5'10, 5 5'11. 5 I don't have good vision. I have supposed to wear glasses, but I'm too cheap to get them. Am I currently frustrated with someone? Not at the moment. It's June. Um, what's on my mind? Felicia. Um, you know, getting through this video. How hot it's gonna be tomorrow? Cause it's hundred. It's gonna be a hundred degrees tomorrow. Could I handle a long distance relationship? Could I handle a long distance relationship? Um, hold on a second. I mean, I could. Now that I think about, it, now that I think about it nowadays, I was in a long distance relationship last year, but it did. It didn't work. It didn't work out well at all. It didn't work out well at all. It was very disastrous. But seeing about how I, I have friends now, I have one friend, Felicia, is long, who I live long distance. So I know friendships can work long, long distance. And I got a, another friend who met someone in a long distance relationship, and now they're together now. I have a lot more confidence in long distance relationships than I did when my disastrous relationship ended two years ago. Oh, no, a year ago. In the past week, have I cried? No. Am I mad at someone right now? No. Do I live in a ghetto neighborhood? Some people say I do, but, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's actually the, one of the nicer, some parts of this area are ghetto, but I think I live in the nicer part of this area. It's one of the nicer parts of where I live. It's not ghetto, it could be better, but it's not necessarily ghetto. Has there been anyone in particular on my mind at the moment? Felicia. Because if she didn't make that nice video, I wouldn't make this video right now. That's it. Again, thanks to you, Felicia, for making that amazing video. I really appreciate it. So now, to end this, after this video, I'm going to put a, a video that ne I've showed it to her before. But this video has never been put on Facebook. I made it April 16th of this year. I think you should know what I'm talking about now. It's a birthday video that I made, but I never put it on YouTube, just on Facebook. Good day. We're going to begin. It is with much happiness and much joy in my heart that I wish you a happy birthday, Felicia. You're 20 years old. Doesn't really mean much. I mean, it. it I gotta go with my American instinct and say one year away from drinking here. Like well, you, you got a year, so what's the big deal? Seriously, it just seems. I mean, but happy birthday! You're another year older and everything, so that's good. But why am I even making this video? People watching this might not even know who I am. So I'm gonna go back. It was a Saturday in February. I'm online, I'm bored. So, I decide to, you know, I, I, have a, I had a webcam, so I decided to go on this website called Chat Roulette. Yeah, saw some dicks, as usual. And then eventually, a person with, like, I don't even know what color her hair was at the time. Interesting hair, red eyebrows comes up. And we start talking, and it gets pretty interesting. We talk about a lot of stuff. Canada, U.S. Um, for some strange reason, I start talking about Canadian television, and I start singing the Degrassi theme song of from, from, from Canadian, it's a Canadian TV show that also airs here in the United States. 
Now, so we we talking. The conversation lasted for about an hour. But she, we eventually added each other on Facebook. The rest is history, and I've been pretty happy about how this friendship has gone on. What can I say? It, it all happened so fast and so randomly. I always, I always think that friendships happen through the natural progression of life, and this is definitely a pure example of friendships happening in the natural progression of life. You never know when they're going to happen. Could be the guy you see on the street. Could be the guy next to you on the bus. But this is what uh, this relationship that I have with Leisha and her partner Warren is everything that a friendship should be. I'm pretty glad to call it my friend. So, happy birthday, Felicia. May you have many more. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs>